Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan here with another Plan With Me video in my B6 size traveler's notebook. This is the week on two pages from Annie Plans Principles and this is her July through September uh, week on two pages. So you basically get a month uh, spread like this and then a, I guess the habit tracker or the 30 day habit tracker, a blank page here and then the week on two pages. So there you see my spread for Monday, July 16th through to July 22nd where I use the Mermaids Please kit from Pretty Cute Planner. So let's just take this out of my traveler's notebook here and flip to today's which is uh, Monday, July 23rd through to July 22nd. And I apologize ahead of time for the terrible lighting. It is dark and cloudy and rainy outside. So I have to use my uh, kitchen lights, which aren't great, but they will do for now. So what kit I'll be using this week, I can't actually decide. Um, I'm going to use a kit from GP Sticker Studio. So I think maybe, like I feel like that's so loud and bright. You know what? I'm going to go with something cool and breezy today. I'm going to use their Dream Big, her Dream Big kit. I love GP uh, Sticker Studio because she offers her kits. She has a lot of photography kits, but she offers this in, um, I forget the material. I think it's like a vinyl, a matte or a glossy vinyl. But the stickers are just such great quality. They're thick, and I just love the feel of it. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put down the full boxes and I'm gonna try and stick to a similar layout that I did last week. I really like the full boxes in the middle because they're all so pretty and I don't wanna take away from any of them. So I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing this week. It's just a matter of choosing which ones. So I'm only using five, so there will be three left over. So I think I'm gonna leave dream big and work hard and make it happen. Put that in the middle. Yay. I always say yay because I'm like, is it actually going to be straight? So let's put, let's put this one down for Monday. And you know what, before I even do that, let's maybe put down Tuesday so that it's not, so that it actually is straight. Because if you guys know me and have seen any of my other videos, me putting stickers down straight, like really? Ah, oh, and I put it down on the sticker paper wrong. All right, I'm gonna put this down here. Perfect. And then I will put this down on Thursday, although it's funny enough that Thursday isn't really my big computer day. I work from home and um, my big computer days are really Saturday through Sunday. I'm going to use this one and I'm gonna save this for a different spread. I love that. I mean, the the regular kits with the eight full boxes work for, for different types of um, week on two pages spreads. I know for the B6 spreads, I know there's some inserts out there where you have Monday through Friday on two pages and then you have the sidebar here and then on the separate page you have Saturday and Sunday as well as a whole bunch of to-do lists so that's where it would be beneficial for you to be able to use all eight boxes but I like being able to spread these out. I'm going to try and use as even my mini happy planner so we will see. So then the next thing I'm going to do is put down the date covers and I love the little bits of green here so I'm just trying to think maybe I'll use this one and I'm going to put the date dots down um, on top of that too. Like what is the date? The 23rd. So maybe let's put that down first. And is it too tall for it? I feel like it is a bit too tall. I've seen people who um, use tweezers to put, oh, it's just right. I've seen people who use tweezers to put down their stickers and I think it's a really great way to be precise. I just need to find a really pretty pair of tweezers that I can put on camera. Beautiful. So what I've noticed as, you know, that I've been doing this YouTube thing now for over a year. Um, is it over a year? Yeah, over a year now. 
because uh, I started in, oh boy, I started in, I think it was April or May of last year, so 2017. And what I've noticed as my style has changed, I guess my audience changes a little bit too, or the, my subscribers changes a little bit. But what I like, what I'm trying to do with my um, channel is to show you the different styles of planning so that, and also my style changes over the years. I mean, I was strictly a happy planner girl last year, and then this year, you know, I do have my mini happy planner and I have my classic happy planner for memory planning. But um, for my day to day, I've moved into a B6 and I'm really happy with it. You know, and even my style of which planner videos I watch has changed as well. I mean, for a beginner for doing happy planner videos, I, mean, I think People like Heather Kell of Kell of a Plan, uh, Plans by Rochelle is fantastic. Kimberly Lauren Crafts is amazing. Um, and eight, uh, Jenny McGarvey is one of my favorites. She's doing a lot more over on Patreon rather than YouTube now, but some of her older videos are amazing. And so if you are a beginner happy planner, they are definitely ones to check out. But uh, if you prefer, you know, Erin Condren or B6, some of my recommendations, I love watching the Planner Sophisticate. Um, just her style is beautiful and so, like, it's so sophisticated, just like her name. But I also like um, Holly Plans as well as Nikki Plans. Uh, Nikki Plans is also the owner of the store uh, Ribbon and Nib, so definitely check her out. But if you guys know of other B6 or Erin Condren uh, planners out there, do let me know in the description below. I love being able to share different YouTube channels and different styles because we all have our own place in the planner community and we all have room for each other in the planner community. So this is what I love is that there is room for everyone no matter what style. All right, so I placed those down. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to put my to-do lists in the bottom row and then in the top is going to be my work schedule. So I'm going to, I guess, let's see here what I'm going to use because I feel like that would be too big to place my work shifts. I'm going to reach into a different sticker book and get a some more functional stuff for me. So I'm going to go into the Happy Planner Colorful Boxes sticker book and go into the greens here. What I'm finding now that is changing about my style is that um, there are certain stickers that I will use more of now than I ever did before. And I'm looking at this and I don't have enough of the greens. I kind of wanted that dark green and I don't have enough of it. I think I know of another sticker book that I can go into. One sec. So I'll be using hopefully some, there's enough tabs in here in that green colorway. Yes, so there's quite a few. Thinking if I should just use the green or if I will swap it or make it work with a different color as well. There's green. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try and swap it with different colors as well so it's not just all green, although I love the green. Green is one of my, is my favorite color. Did I use one that was darker? I did, didn't I? Oh, well. That is okay. Okay, so then I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna go into the Colorful Boxes sticker book again and get gold. Gold will do. What do you guys think? Silver? Ooh. Or gold? Silver? Silver. It's funny, I'm asking you guys these questions like you're gonna answer me right now as I do this. But life doesn't work that way. That would be pretty scary. I mean, if it was a live video, if it was like an Instagram live video, then yeah, I would, you know, ask for some feedback and wait for your feedback before I do anything. But 
over YouTube. You know, while I'm filming this in the splendor of my kitchen. I'm not gonna, I don't think anybody's gonna respond. So then I'm using these cute little work script labels from Green Darner Designs, and I'll leave a discount code for her shop down in the description below. So I don't know if you guys know this about me, I am a Weight Watchers leader, but I also work for their call center, and I also work as a leader mentor, so I am training new leaders, and it's the job that I never thought I'd end up in, but I just, I love it because it's definitely, it's not what I ever saw myself in, but it is just, it's so fulfilling. I, I just find it really fulfilling. I love, I do love what I do. No, I'm not paid millions of dollars to do it, but I love it. All right, so what I'm gonna do here now is then put in my little walking stickers. Now, my husband is out of town Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he'll be back on Wednesday. So my walking really is kind of limited to Thursday, Friday, and probably Saturday because my sister's birthday dinner thing is that Sunday. So it'll just be those three days of walking. And then what I'm gonna do for for checklists. I'm wondering if I should actually do this in a green. Do my checklists in a green. I think that would be really pretty. One sec. So I'm gonna use this green Papermate Flare pen and just do checklists down the bottom and I'm gonna use the larger ones. I'm not gonna put a header in here. Just gonna keep this really, really simple. And maybe even alternate whether I do circles hearts and squares. I'm even just checking the week before. Did I use, I did use all of them. Monday is my big cleaning day. I have, it's the day I do the bathrooms. I do vacuuming. Um, I just, I like to spread out my tasks um, evenly over the week, but normally Monday's the big day so that by the time I get to Wednesday, I'm pretty much done. And because I work on the weekends, I don't do my cleaning on the weekends. My weekends are work and whatever time I do have left is family time. Oh, I like that. Really simple, but cute. I mean, my work shifts on Sunday or Saturdays, I work 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. So whatever time I have remaining in the day, I want to spend that with my family, not cleaning. Ooh, that square did not work out well. and circle. So just last weekend, last Sunday, we had our um, housewarming party. So we had a whole bunch of guests here, which was lovely. So nice to see everybody. And so nice to actually host a proper party in our house. But then, you know, we also, ha I had a very busy day on Sunday. Oh no, I'm doing it in six. Crap. See, this is what happens when I talk to you guys. I get distracted and then I do a six. You know what, I'll leave it at four because four is, I don't need that much to do on Friday. Um, and then I'm going to do my work shifts here. So on the 26th, I don't think we're actually doing much of anything. So we'll just do three and then Friday my normal to-do lists or what I do on a day today you know we'll make that five and then I feel like I'm gonna go in with bigger boxes for these two so I might actually use some of these boxes from the coolness kit just because the greens work really really well so I know that Sunday we have my sister's barbecue so we'll place that there and I'll put deco with it as well. Saturday, we don't have any plans right now, so I'm gonna leave it. So I know this looks really, really like sparse, but actually I'm gonna put it down there that Rob gets back that day. So let's just use this really, really, 
I can get it out. No, nope, we'll use this one. If that Rob gets back. Oh, I know what I need to put there. My son has an important dentist appointment that day. And my brother has... Okay, let's rearrange this a bit. Hold on one sec. So my brother is in a band called Lusitania Lights and they're opening for, oh my God, I don't walk off the earth, I think it is, at uh, K-Days, which is our annual summer festival here in Edmonton. So I'm gonna put maybe just a green one, but that's right next to the green here, which I don't like. So. When you're trying to alternate colors, it gets really difficult. And then that day I'll put that Rob gets home. If it will peel up, there we go. So my husband gets home that day from his work trip. He leaves on Sunday and comes back on Wednesday. Perfect. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So now I'm gonna add in some more deco here. So there's just a few decos from the kit. These are so gorgeous, gorgeous. And you know, I'm gonna put this on Monday because Monday is, Monday's just like that. It needs a quote <laughs> along with coffee. But again, there's not enough room. So, I'll leave that for now, mm, but it's so pretty. Okay, and then I'll take all oh, these leaves. I love deco, I'm a big fan of deco. And I will try and spread them around in, in the spread wherever I can, especially in little areas like this that don't really have anything. Or Friday, just put it down. And then all these gorgeous florals. Just put the sticker paper is lovely, but sometimes I don't think the silhouette has cut through properly. But otherwise I love, love for sticker kits. So I'll just put that one there on Friday. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in. You guys don't normally see me fill in my B6, but I'll go ahead and fill this in and I'll do this in uh, sped up and a voiceover. So here I'm going in with my pen. I've actually found a new black pen. It's the um, Uniball Signo that I think a lot of other planner babes have recommended and I'm absolutely loving the fine tip of it, the gel, really, really love this pen. And it works really well on the stickers too. So here I am, I'm writing in my work shifts, I'm writing in the days that I plan on walking, and I'm also writing in the to-do list for Monday. And then the other to-do list I will write in the rest of the week. What I try to do with writing in everything is I'm, um, I still write it in my regular writing, but then I also do some of the other things in hand lettering just to add a little bit something more fun to the spread so it's not just all my writing that I can do some hand lettering. And you know, like my sister's birthday barbecue, and then even my cleaning list. I do my cleaning list on Monday in hand lettering. So there I'm actually checking uh, the week before, and I'm also checking my monthly calendar to see what I have to do on that particular day. And hand lettering just makes it that much nicer. There's my cleaning schedule. But that's all for the writing in for now. So I'm just gonna leave that for now the way it is. I'll fill in the to-do list as I go in the week, but this gives you an idea of how um, I plan and what it looks like in the end. It's I'm a big fan of white space. I love to-do lists, so this is a really great way that I've made this system work for me. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and have a lovely day.